Right, so I'm gonna be as quick as possible. I'm gonna go over like the main features of Journalist AI. So as you know, Journalist AI helps you with SEO and SEO, as I'm sure you know, has like three main pillars. There's the on-page SEO, there's off-page SEO, and there's technical SEO. We focus solely on the on-page, right? Off-page is backlinks, as you know, technical SEO is schema markup, meta tags, all that. We don't focus on these two. We focus solely on on-page SEO. That's what's on the site, mainly content, right? And we're able to and able to sorry produce content like the one I'm going to just show you right now. And essentially, it saves you a bunch of time, right? Because this is for the dog grooming niche, right? This is all AI. The featured image right here, proper table of contents, proper article structure with in-article images, internal links, external links, bullets, tables, more in-article images, even videos that are relevant to what the content is about, right? And all this, I mean, if you were to do this all manually, it would take so much time, right? There's links here for uh, Amazon affiliate product, right? You can, this is an external link, of course, that could link to your homepage, links to your contacts page. If this were to be an article about finance, maybe we'd link out to uh, Bloomberg, maybe we'd link out to TechCrunch. So again, all this, if you were to do it manually, it took so much time, right? But we do it all for you. I can just click here next to view all the articles I generated. I click, I click here to post my integration, one by one, post integration, post integration, or I can just click here, publish all to integration, and all three will be pushed to my integration. Now, what is integration? It can be anything you want. We integrate with a bunch of platforms. We integrate with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow Blogger, Zapier, or even external APIs. There's a bunch of Shopify store owners, just a quick tangent here, that have, for example, a, a store that sells all throughout Europe, right? And they have their, their store right here, this is your Shopify store with a bunch of products, right? And also, they also have a, a blog, so forward slash blog, right? And the blog is in English, right? And what they're doing here is they're leveraging Journalist AI to have multiple blogs, so a blog in Portuguese, a blog in Spanish, a blog in Italian, right? These are these are blo actual blogs, each one with individual blog posts, right? All is in Spanish, in Italian, uh, in Greek, right? All these, and they're targeting the international market, in this case, Europe, individually, ranking for keywords in these international markets. And they're automating this with a pretty cool feature that we have right here, which is called autoblogging. So if you go here to autoblogs, I can create a new autoblog and I can create as many as I want and I can have it produce, most people just do five, so five every day, Monday through Friday. So essentially you connect this AI with your site and it generates, right? Plus it automatically publishes, if you want, the content to your site. Now, a couple more features here is that it automatically indexes the content on Google if you want. So you just set up an indexer right here and it automatically submits the content to Google automatically. And also it does the keyword research for you and then it generates content or can generate content based off of these keywords. On top of that, when the blog posts are posted to your site, we automatically syndicate them to your social media platforms, to LinkedIn, to Twitter, which is on call X, uh, to Facebook, right? All of this on autopilot, right? And in the example of the Shopify source, they're doing this and they're creating all these individual autoblogs, they're creating multiple autoblogs for multiple languages to target all these international keywords. Speaking of keywords, if you go here to keyword monitors, just add in your site, add your target language, add your country, we will give you a list of keywords which you can target and have the AI produce content off of, right? So pretty cool. Um, by the way, to generate articles, you just go here to generate articles and this is the input, right, you give to the AI, right? The better the input, the better the output. So the input starts down here. How many articles do you want? Let's do 300, for example. Uh, do you want videos in your articles? If yes, just enable this. Do you want images? If so, do you want featured images? Do you want in-article images? There's a bunch of image sources you can choose from, Bing images and Splash, custom images, which are images you are, uh, you're uploading yourself, or AI-based images. If you do choose AI-based images, you can add prompts right here to make them look realistic, illustrative, and all that. You can play around with that. Uh, external linking, just enable this. There's a bunch of advanced rules right here, but if you enable this as such, once we write your article, right, we will read through it, right, and figure out the best places to add links to, and then link out to relevant sources. Again, if this article is about finance and talks about the best stock picks of 2024, we'll link out to another article on a relevant publication, for example, Bloomberg, that talks about stock picking, and the article is relevant to what the anchor text is. And it has the whole paragraph and the whole article as a context to where it links out to, so nothing is random. And again, there's a bunch of links, a bunch of um, uh, feature, advanced features here to, for example, not link to your competitors and, and, and all that. Uh, internal linking, just add your sitemap right here and we'll link and we'll uh, add links all throughout the article to uh, your internal pages, right? There's a bunch of rules you can add here. You can change the link density and all that. Uh, structure, you can add a custom call to action right here. So for example, if you have a Shopify store that sells gardening supplies, right? There's the whole, the, the, the whole article. And if you, you add here, for example, a link to a product of your Shopify store, we'll add a custom paragraph at the bottom with a custom heading that essentially tries to persuade people. And of course, there's a link to the link you put here. 
essentially is a big call to action to try and persuade people to buy your products. Now, if you add here, for example, a link to your booking page on a plumbing, plumbing service, the call to action will be uh, tailored to that. So it's a call to action that's tailored based on the link you add here. Um, there's a bunch of features you can enable and disable, like key takeaways, conclusions, FAQs, you can change select like the article length. Uh, you can automate the headings or you can just leave uh, do them manually and you can play around with this and add more, right? Or pretty cool feature, if you just add this here, right? If you just, because if you, if you leave it all blank, it's the same as if it were like this, but if you leave it all blank and just place this one right here, the AI will generate all these ones right here, but it will take into account the ones you've already added. So for example, let's say you also add one right here, right? Again, the AI will fill all the blanks, but taking into context the ones you've already filled in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to formatting, I mean, you, you can enable disable all these things. Knowledge, you can connect this to the web so that the content is up to date. This knowledge base feature is pretty cool. What it does essentially is you go here, create a knowledge base, right? And a knowledge base essentially is your brand, right? Your brand is made out of assets. An asset is your website, right? It could be your LinkedIn, could be any text documents, even any audio document, right, etc. All of these are brand assets, okay? And so what you do is you connect Journalist AI with your brand, and because now Journalist AI has the, the context of the brand, its assets, it's able to write non-generic AI content. So content that's brand tailored, brand specific, using your own brand's mannerisms, your brand's tone of voice, uh, your brand's images. So it is pretty cool and it's a pretty cool advanced feature to allow you to not write just bland AI content. Um, speaking of content, you can just go here and select the language. There's over 150 different languages, which is pretty cool. Uh, by the way, if you go here to uh, Portuguese, I um, mean, we have a client, a, a fintech company. Actually, we have it on our site as a case study, just a quick tangent here, these guys are a fintech company. They actually bought a bank for $35 million, Euro, sorry. So they're a big one, big multi seven figure company. They started producing content for targeting the Portuguese market and the, their growth was, was clear, right? right? This is growth here, right here. There's a case study, you can read through it all if you want. But yeah, this is just to say that it is pretty cool that we will allow you to produce content in over 150 different languages because these international markets are often uh, less served, right? There's a bunch of uh, demand, but not enough supply. And so it's quite easy or easier to rank for all these markets. So yeah, you can select the target country as well. The creativity levels, you can play around with this. You can play around with the tone of voice, point of view, uh, formality, custom instructions. You can even, even, sorry, even force some keywords, your articles. And finally, the base right here is the generation mode, right? You can generate content based off of titles, based off of keywords, based off of a description, or based off of a keyword monitor, which was the thing that I just showed you before, right? You go here, you add your domain, add all that, and then you generate content based off of this keyword. So, in super short, essentially it is this. Finally, just to finish this off, you go here, if you go here to the build links feature, you just connect your site, right? And you will load all the posts on your site. And it will you can select one, it will analyze the post, read through it, find the best places to add links to, and refreshen, right? Freshen up your old articles with new links. So again, let's say if you have an article posted like a year ago and you wanna freshen it up, you go here, add your site, add the, the, uh, the article right here, you can even preview it if you want. and you will go through it, you, you, if you go generate, it will read through the article, like I said before, and we'll find places in which you can add links to. So it's pretty cool, but again, there's video tutorials for all this. If you go here, there's a video tutorial for it. I won't dive too deep into every single feature, but as a whole, essentially, this is what Journalist AI does. It connects with your site, it does the queue research for you, does the content generation, does the content publishing, content indexing, and also content syndication, all of this on autopilot. You can even create an auto automatic, automatic log, sorry, so that this runs on autopilot for all your brands. So yeah, that's it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Cheers.